all right here's this 1973 wheel horse it has a trailer hitch already on it so this is the bolt i was getting to put on it but this is a flat a flat beam right here a flat beam trailer hitch that's the leaky wheel seal that i have to fix right there and get that off see how bad that's leaking look at the rim and down there but let me show you what i'm coming up with for that now this is attached to right here if you pulled it it lifts up and if you should put it back it goes down okay and that's to have your ball hitch to go up into whatever you need when you pull it back your ball hitch goes up and catches on then when you're done your ball hitch comes down but let me show you what i'm coming up with so i have extra everything laying around all right so this is going to slide into the ball screw this in and then this is on an angle backwards this is going to be welded onto here see that right there it's going to be welded onto there and then my two inch ball hitch is going to be drilled and put on right to there so i can't tack it all on but if you get the drift right there so i started to work on this and mess around with this i can lay it down and show you i started to work on this and mess around with this right here so this will go into the tractor this is actually another trailer hitch you see i got tons of them laying around I it was the perfect angle angle so i cut it off and i started welding it with a harbor freight welder if you could see it really wasn't working on this heavy gauge metal i had this laying around right here so this will go welded to the top of that with a hole in it and then my two inch hitch is going to go on that right there this is going to get welded probably with two or three v's this is going to be welded in really heavy duty i know because my son's going to do it for me okay and the whole thing is to be able to roll this right here all right now this folds in and folds out i don't care if it's folded in or folded out i know this is a two inch hitch right here but my thing with this right here is this has a the motor on the back is like a point of balance to this right here okay so if i were to climb on this you see i got the front lifted up i always store it like that so if any rain or moisture gets in there it just drips right out the back since the battery's not on the inside so i'm gonna actually uncover it today but this has a point where that weight right here if i walk on the back I wheelie this whole trailer that's the point i almost want so when i put this on the trailer hitch it's not too much weight on the front now if i lower that all the way down that's going to be a lot of weight on the back of the tractor which is going to cause the front tires to want to come up i want the hitch high enough where this is almost at a flat balance and then it's just rolling on the wheels frontwards and backwards okay so i've been starting it with this 28 battery I have the little tractory battery in. This is the negative right here. So the see the power is off. The power is off. If you turn this to on, the battery don't slip out. The power is on. 12.8 volts in the battery. Okay, now I have the fuel filter off. So the fuel filter is on now. I put the fuel filter on the other side right here so this battery is not completely charged all the way so before i started i want to check the oil which is full i'm going to actually uh change the uh put up the change of valves all right here's the axle oil which i am leaking see it's halfway down halfway down but that's close enough for government standards if I could get this to rock frontwards or backwards, I will be good to go. 12.8 volts. You can't really see it because it's in the sun. That's on right there. The, the negative is on. When I shut it off, the key, then I got to shut this off before I'm done. And I'm going to lock off the... Uh, lock off the... Uh, power and the gas. Okay, so I'm going to... actually I put the... the uh, air clean around so i'm going to open the clutch all the way up uh this is on slow i'll put it all the way up a little bit i don't know how much cranks i'm going to get from that though i think some more 
guess. Now I shut the clutch all the way. Shut the, uh, not the clutch, the choke. That was a good sign. This actually works really, really, really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the battery charger on it because I know the Strader needs to be worked on. I'm going to replace the Strader tomorrow, but it is done. Next, we're going to go ahead and get the. Uh, this, I loosen this up. Next, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, the tow hitch fabricated. And all right, that bearing seal, that axle seal is leaking like a sieve. So I'm going to turn it around, get it as close to over here as I can, because that's the next project we're going to work on now that we know it runs. Got to turn the gas on. Turn the gas on. Turn the negative on. Turn the negative on. This is the one I got to hold with two hands. Oh, 
Okay, and then I just gotta. I can't figure out the towing on it, how to tow it. There's the voltage. off i hear the hydrostat so i know it's low on oil so i gotta get them that bearing fixed and then i'm gonna go ahead jack it up get that tire off and it's gonna be a whole other project pulling that bearing off